Hi, Joe Ramsey here. A um, little bit of glare off my glasses, I think, from the window beside me, but I need my glasses on so I can see to read because I have a new book coming out this month. Um, it's going to be out till June. Yeah, it's June. I'm, it's going to be out June 25th, and um, it's from Harmony Inc. Press. It's book four of my Deep Secrets and Hope series. Um, and this is the cover. I don't actually have the book yet because even though it's available for pre-order, it's, you know, not out yet. So, um, but um, in this book, if you've followed the series at all, then you know Evan Granger, the um, openly gay wannabe drag queen at his town's high school, and his boyfriend, Guillermo Garcia, the football player, and um, their friend Chastine Rollo, who was introduced in, well, she's been in all of the books, but her book was book three, which came out in February. And then this one is about Evan's cousin Holly, who is dating Chastine and is having some problems um, having some problems helping Chastain deal with the fallout of what happened to her. Also having trouble dealing with the fact that in Holly's perception, she's dating the most beautiful girl at school, skinny, sexy, and Holly feels like she's the exact opposite and it's causing her some real um, body image issues. So kind of a trigger warning on this book, although I don't think I remembered to have Harmony Inc. put one, but kind of a trigger warning because there is some discussion of what happened to Chastain and also because Holly does develop an eating disorder. Um, so be warned if you want to read this book, there, there are some things going on. Um, I'm going to share a short excerpt. Chastain flopped onto the couch and groaned. Too much bending and bagging and stuff. Why did you wait so long to sort things out? I shrugged and sat in Dad's armchair. I don't know. It felt weird to get rid of all the clothes I usually wear, and I didn't want to give up the ones you gave me because that would have been rude. It wouldn't have been rude. You should have just told me in the first place that you didn't want them. She folded her legs under her. She was the only person I knew who could sit like that in a miniskirt and not reveal a damn thing more than she wanted to. Why did you take them? I don't know, I said again. I mean, you gave them to me. You were being nice, and I liked you, and I liked that you were being nice. God, I sound like a kindergartner trying to make a best friend. She laughed. Yeah, well, sometimes I feel that way too. But we're more than friends anyway, right? Yeah, but we weren't when you started giving me clothes. If you told me you didn't want them, I would have donated them or given them to someone else. She paused. Maybe. I don't know if any of the girls I used to hang out with would take anything of mine. To some of them, I'm still the slut who deserved what I got and ruined Jim's life. If I gave them clothes, they'd probably burn them. I was pretty sure I had told her I didn't want her clothes the first time she'd given me some. She'd insisted I take them, and every time since, she'd brushed off my arguments. I wasn't sure I believed she would have done something else with them if I'd refused them. It wasn't the right time to call her on it, though. Bringing up her former friends was never easy, and I wanted to make her feel better. To some of them, two plus two equals fish, I said, quoting from some old cartoon I vaguely remembered from when I was a kid. Something about a boy who had fairies. You know, it isn't your fault, right? And Jim's the one who got what he deserved. Actually, nowhere near as much as he deserved. I agree with that, she sighed. You know what? That ought to be part of the support group. Like, maybe every time we meet, we can open with everyone saying, it wasn't my fault. And the people who haven't been assaulted can say, it wasn't your fault. A lot of us need to hear that. Definitely. Making mental note. I was beyond relieved to change the subject to the support group. I didn't have answers for Chastain's questions about the clothes. I'd taken them because I'd had a crush on her for a long time. 
She was the confident, attractive, fun person I wanted to be. Maybe I hadn't so much had a crush on her as wished I was her. But the result was the same. I'd taken the clothes because they belonged to her, and I couldn't help hoping they would make me more like her somehow. Obviously, it hadn't worked. No big surprise there. Nothing could make me anything more like Chastain Rollo, no matter how hard I wished. So, you know, that's a very short scene from the book. Um, but it gives you, I hope, a little bit of an idea of who Holly is and what some of her worries and concerns are. Um, like I said, this is book four of the Deep Secrets and Hope series. It will officially be out on June 25th, but it is available for pre-order right now on Omnilet.com and on the Harmony Inc. Press website, and I'm going to put the link up for that um, at the end of this video. So I hope you'll consider reading the book, and even if you don't, um, I hope that you've enjoyed hearing the excerpt and listening to me babble. Um, I hope everybody's having a good June. If you're out of school for the school year, I hope that you're having a great start to your summer. Um, if you are in the Southern Hemisphere, I hope you're having a great start to your winter. And I will see you in July.